my name is uh, Bishop Chris Monesi. I live in Nairobi in Pangani area. I am married and with two children. I was diagnosed uh, last year in, in the month of September when I was diagnosed to have prostate cancer. In October is when I, was, I started off my radiotherapy treatment here at Kenya Cancer. I went uh, to the treatment for three sessions, which is three weeks, but I was set to take a seven-week session. I didn't finish the seven-week session because the side effect to my rectum. So the doctors uh, preferred that I stop the radiotherapy. Then uh, I start going uh, doing the hormonal treatment. Uh, the hormonal treatment is now what I am undergoing and so far I would say I am responding well to hormonal treatment which I thank God for. In between the time when I was coming for the uh, radiotherapy treatment I was uh, I, I introduced to Faraja. Faraja when we are coming for treatment, the treatment is done down at the ground floor and Faraja is just at the first floor of the building where we come for treatment. But when I was told about Faraja, I came to Faraja with a lot of hesitation to the fact that I was looking at it that Faraja was a place where again they would ask me for the money since cancer treatment it was already you know, overload me as far as money was concerned. So I was a bit fearful that they will ask me for money to be treated to, so that I get the services of Faraja. But uh, I came to learn later on that uh, hey, Faraja was a, such a friendly place for, for me to be that when I came in I wasn't asked to pay but I have really benefited by my time at Faraja. I'll, benefited enormously to a sense that uh, you come we come there and we come we meet with the people that are, uh, are fighting cancer and some of them have come through the cancer treatment and I am fighting it I'm still on hormonal treatment but they have, have been encouraged a lot a lot a lot because I never knew that cancer can be something that can be handled and, or be treated and cured. All we knew about cancer was that, hey, that's the end of yourself. But at this point, with the joining up with the friends at Faracha, I know that cancer is healable as long as you accept that, yes, it's a disease, but it's a disease that can be handled and you can People here in Faraja are very supportive. I thank God for that. Uh, we were terrified with the cancer message. It was very hard for them. There was a lot of uh, you know, sadness and sorrow in the family. When I started with the Faraja and getting the positiveness of uh, encouragement and support with the men at Faraja, and with the, you know, the opportunity given at Faraja to interact with my colleagues who are also sick like we are, went back to the mess with a message of positiveness and you know and you know to talk to my family about it. And they began also they got healed just as I am getting healed. Uh, my family at this point they have really you know began to accept the fact that uh, I'm sick but I'm, I'm coming out of the sickness. So they are very positive and they're very grateful with the help that I've come at here at Faraja. With this kind of uh, sickness, it has a lot to do of, uh, it, has, it, it comes with the, a lot of demand. Uh, you have to do away with certain food, your food, some type of food that you may have been you know, you know, interested or liking in, like, in to do it. If you have a family that doesn't know how to support you to adjust to this life, then again that will really hurt you get, you know, stand on your way of healing. So you need a family that can understand that yeah, 
this sickness has come with a lot of adjustment in terms of what to eat, what to drink, and in terms of having to go, you know, for a walk outside. They need your wife to take you out to walk. You need your children also to come out with you to go walk with you. So that I have received a lot of that support from my my family, and also to adjust to the point where you know having to make love to my wife. You know, my wife would under she understands that uh, while undergoing this treatment, that part of the you know relationship it is not very it's not often and it's not obvious. So she, she gives me that support that uh, she knows that I need, I need to get healed more than to have a relationship to her. Here at the Faracha, I haven't really gone to do uh, therapy as such, but the major therapy that I'm doing here is the, you know, the fellowship with my fellow men that we go through here, which is more of a spiritual and mental of a, a therapy. The disease called cancer in, here in Kenya, it is a devastating disease. Devastating in the sense that uh, uh, it calls for so much money for you to tackle it. Many people in Kenya are really vulnerable, very vulnerable as far as it financial uh, resources are concerned. So whenever they are diagnosed with cancer, you know, it is not, um, you know, it, it that means that it's a short, their l lifespan is very shortened because they can't access the treatment. And in that effect, to that effect, many people are not able to reach the medication desirable to, to conquer or to attack on this cancer uh, disease. As far as uh, so, uh, mess, the message of uh, awareness to the public, general public in this country, I really think it is still far reaching. Well, not much has been done. We are concentrating in the city but not in the villages. And people in the villages, whenever they encounter this kind of a problem, to some don't even know that it is uh, treatable. To some they think it being something that has been witched, uh, as a witchcraft. Some people don't really exactly understand that it's a disease that they call cancer. So awareness is still far reaching. And I would say that if Faraja, and even other organization would uh, go much more, do much more on this. I think that I can say that is a beneficial to, to me while attending here at Faracha and being with the rest of the, my colleagues who are affected uh, cancer survivors. We came up with an idea and the idea was that we register an, uh, our support group, uh, uh, a support group uh, situation. So well, recently, about two weeks, three weeks ago, we went to seek for registration at the, the Attorney General's office and we registered uh, our body in the name of Prostate, Prostate Cancer Support Association. This support association is mainly to reach out as also to make the awareness to men so that at the age of 40 men should seek to go for a screening that they will be they will know their their situation uh, you know with the with the cancer or with the prostate uh, situation so i think uh, this is just one among many other institutions that uh, want to reach out to make the public informed about cancer that has no respect of persons so we we it's very soon we are going again to reach out to men out there and begin to talk about uh, their to check out their their prostate situation and so uh, we are praying that uh, God will help uh, with cause cause many to get to know their their situation and, 
on this case. And all this came because of my being here, coming to Faraja. I owe it all to Faraja.